Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh man, palms are sweaty, knees weak, mob spaghetti. I can't believe it's here. I'm a huge fan of Mass Effect. That's almost an understatement. Uh, I played the first one at launch, and I had to wait a few long years for Mass Effect 2, and then again for 3. I've been waiting five years for this. It's a new galaxy, new ship, <laughs> new shepherd. I don't know. Maybe it'll be the same old shepherd. Guess it all depends on how we play her. I'm actually playing as Sarah Ryder. I played all of my playthroughs, amazingly, all of my numerous playthroughs of the original trilogy as male Shep instead of Fem Shep. And I always regretted not trying female Shepard. I know she's got a huge following out there, a lot of you guys really like her, so let's give Sher let's give Sarah Ryder a shot. By the way, I'm gonna be playing on the PC version. I know it looks like Xbox, but uh, this is the PC version. Everything is cranked up to maximum. I'm running this at a resolution of 2K. And I'm streaming this at YouTube's highest bit rate, and I am going to try not to talk during any of the cutscenes out of respect to the series. I'm actually I'm getting chills right now. This franchise means a lot to me, and the music is getting to me. But uh, yeah, just to lay down what this stream's gonna be like, uh, that's that's what I wanted to get out there, and um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be live streaming this every single day until I complete it. <laughs> let's let's customize our character. Or let's at least check out customization, because I think I want to roll default, but I don't know. Oh man, this is going to be incredible. <laughs> View the journey so far in the Codex to, Codex to see a breakdown of your character's unique personality, relationships, and key story choices. Apparently, there is not a, a, a Paragon Renegade. Oh, there she is! That is so cool. It's like a new N7 look. I remember... Uh, N7, it just became so iconic, you know, that red and very, very dark gray. Alright, um, that's Scott. Oh, we're gonna be uh, playing as Sarah. What can we customize here? Oh my god. Alright, so we've got a bunch of different uh, heads available. <laughs> this is cool. I've heard that the customization is a lim little limited just because of the fact that they used facial scanning. Um, doesn't look like I can actually customize it. Oh, wait. How do I do this? Oh, here we go. Okay. Got skin tone, brow. It looks like the customization isn't too deep. It's not as deep as the other ones were. I don't know if you can make really ugly characters in this one. Uh, yeah, it's all kind of subtle, actually. I think I'm going to go with default because, man, <laughs> I don't trust myself to make a... Uh, a uh, female rider as much as I could make a male rider. I just don't have that deft touch. But I, I still want to know what customization looks like. And for those of you guys that want to know what customization looks like, that's why I'm doing all this. About eyes. What we do there? Can't change eye color? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, makeup? No. No, I can't. I can't do makeup. <laughs> Yeah, alright, well, um, that's, uh, that's the basics of character creation. I'll get into this more later, as strange as that sounds, because I'm about to start the game. Oh my god, what kind of a scar is that? It's like she got in a fight with a house cat. Okay, that's pretty good. It's like shrapnel. Oh, some of these skin effects actually look really nice. It's like, uh, Mass Effect 2 Renegade Shepard. All right, um, let's, uh, let's hop into the game. For those of you that are starting your adventures or your trials right now, this is actually really cool. You can play along with me. We can, uh, be kind of like, uh, you know, mythical siblings. Will you go renegade? Will I go good? Who knows? We'll see. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those 
willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Tone choice. All right, we're going to be an emotional, logical, casual, or professional Sarah Ryder. Well, we're going to be the fifth choice. We're going to be a fiery Sarah. <laughs> I hope not. Signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? 
I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. What's happening? It broke free! Just hang on! Engineering, report! Try to brace yourself! Remedy cryobay is offline. I'm almost inside! Hold on! This is Cora. I'm at the cryobay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. At least he wasn't shot in the face with a revolver. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well? Sarah. Is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. Right. I like it. I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. It's kind of like Star Trek The Next Generation, you know? We got our medical crew, we got bridge crew, we got officers, security officers. Is that the pla- Oh my goodness. It's like a planet full of Mountain Dew. Hi there. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. This is the information screen, after all. Garson's been dead for at least 500 years, hasn't she? Also, I like how everybody was making the <laughs> centuries joke. <laughs> how many people are gonna make that by the, by the end of this intro? All right, we don't really need anything from here. I already know what's going on. We know the mission status. Of course, if some of you guys are really new, I guess this might be useful to you, but... Yeah, we got stuff to do. Namely, what's around our ship? Gravity loss means something tripped the generators. Like what? You ready? What's wrong? Got a surge in power reading. This place is huge. Almost looks like the Citadel. Whoa! I don't know what Whatever that was. <laughs> I'm just worried about something like collectors popping up. <laughs> Luckily, we're in a new galaxy, so it won't be collectors. Could be a lot worse than that, though. Wait a second. I guess this is the fault in the conduit. Phase coil for modulating power streams is uh, malfunctioning. All right, how do I fix it? If we don't balance the current, we're looking at a complete blackout across the whole arc. I a know, complete I blackout? Would fault. that include life support? It'd be pretty cool if we could get a game over this early. I can't get the circuits to reset. I can't seem to... Oh, wait. There's more to it than that. There's no indication of a... Apparently, a lot of the gameplay is going to hinge around... Uh, Found detective it. work. Relay. 
Ryder, can you go reset it? Can I reset it? I don't know if I'm qualified for this. Damn it, man, I'm a rider, not a technician. Oh, okay. Looks simple enough. There. It's reset. Do it. We're routing the current now. Grid's recovering. It's working. Readings are in the grain. Thank God. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. This place is certainly built better than a vault tech vault. Was close. Okay. Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. <sighs> the adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Who's our Go father? ahead and take us to the bridge. Control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? My father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but... Pretty good isn't good enough. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. Yeah, I don't trust this. Especially with this huge space cloud. You know, in Star Trek, no question if this was space god out here. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? I got a bad feeling about this. Probably because of all the interstellar vibes I'm getting right now. <laughs> all you need is love, Murph. Love is the answer that's gonna solve our planetary problem. Yeah, he's not a people person. <laughs> I agree with that sentiment. No one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. It's no Whedon Prime. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. 
I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Wait, how would I not know an old superstition of my father's? Never done anything hm. like this. First contact protocol. Oh my god, new species, new galaxy, new ship, new species, new everything. What's gonna be the Citadel? What's gonna be the major hub world? In the event of any member of the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The I guess we better read this. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated, and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. That sounds pretty reasonable. No. I guess that's... Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? <laughs> yeah, let's just mess with their heads. It was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? Will do. See you guys on the ride down. All right, so I got a bad feeling that this is going to be a, a Matt Damon planet, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, the one on Mars. You know what I'm talking about, without me giving you spoilers. I also have a bad feeling that all these riders, except me, are going to die with that helmet on. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting oh. trouble, Sam? A precaution, please. Arm your yourself rider oh yeah all right where is that there it is new weapons baby is i i've kind of been staying away Better from some sorry. of uh the mass effect trailers and interviews and guides that have been online because I, I wanted our adventure together to be like my virgin journey not to make it weird <laughs> and if you guys are starting your journey right now this is awesome man we're starting together Let's let's see what differences our journeys have. In the comment section in the live chat room, tell me what your choices are. I'd be interested to learn we that stuff. Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things change like that? We're about to find out. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. It's what we hope it is. It'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. You better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So let's go make history. Been 
waiting 600 years for this. That is like Clooney levels, Silver Fox. Turning to Vector 135. Copy that. You're on point. Wow. Will you look at that? Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected. Increasing. Oh my god. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Jarvis, get that jump jet back online! Hospitable world, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. This is Ryder, come in. Uh, Hyperion! Sam! Anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on! You know, it's a good thing we're in one piece. We don't have any Cerberus to patch us up. Training. I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. I guess the first thing we should do is look around There's for an Alice. No 
trouble fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our sound connection. I think there'd be like a mini sand built into oh. our suits. And safety tip? Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. You know what we need? We need a Cortana. And some Mjolnir armor. <laughs> yes. That would do some good. It's a good looking planet though. I mean, that energy cloud we saw could cause all this. Dangerous, but. Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. So apparently, this game is like the first fully open world Mass Effect, and I'm wondering if I can go any. No, I can't go anywhere, because I think we're on one of those floating mountains. Or. We're just really high off the ground, but, uh. I hope this planet is open world. Oh, what the hell is this? You know how to take it back. I don't want to set foot any more than I have to. Welcome to Habitat 7! Oh, God! Keep moving! I don't want to die in the first 20 minutes! Ah. Damn it! Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell is going on with this place? How's your gun? Might want to see if it's working. Yeah, Take good a idea. That fuel cell. It's busted anyway. I'd say it's working. Didn't it used to be that Mass Effect weapons fired hot sand? Flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. We're not in the Milky Way anymore. Holy crap. Space cockroaches. <laughs> Is it just me or are those things huge? They look like they're far enough away where they're in between this and that. But closer to that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that could swallow us whole. Alright. Yeah. We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Exactly what he sure said. I think I can see a path up. We use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! I think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. Then crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. Crap. Oh no 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 no! We're getting there. Thank God it has uh easy respawns. I do not have a hang of jump jets. There we go. Oh, that was a close one. I think I see the top. Am I making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? It's not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. Ryder! It's Fisher. Wait. Look. Oh, shit. What was first contact protocol again? No deadly force unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah. Said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? Oh, God. All right. <laughs> I'm being torn apart here. Let's follow protocol. Let's do it Star Trek Next Generation. What would Picard do? W-W-P-D. He would follow protocol. Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. Yeah. And Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. Nice and easy. We only go hot if we have to. Damn. They're ugly. They're an inspiration for birth control. But let's not fire. Oh, oh god. They shooting? Jesus. We can't understand you! We're not here to fight! That man's with us! Yo, I don't speak that! Uh, health bar. I'm seeing a health bar here. What are we doing? Mexican Santa? Holy shit, wait, is he... Yo, I think he just curb stopped his ass! Uh-uh, uh-uh! I don't play that way! 
So it turns out these aren't Mass Effect 1 guns. They don't fire sand, they do fire ammunition, so, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna run out! How much do we have? 75. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Let's go for some melee. Okay. It's over. Fisher, you okay? Those bastards wanted to kill me. I had to wait in, Ryder. They didn't give us a choice. I didn't want to make it worse. The first aliens we meet and we try to kill each other? That wasn't the plan. Then we need a new one. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. I've seen a lot of horror oh. movies to know this is gonna take end up. Look at these bodies. What are these things? I don't know if I want to take a closer look, to be honest. Well, let's let's scan them at least. Moving. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? <laughs> you could say that again. I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them, but we might want to scout around first. Can I say the guy You're the recon specialist. Grass. Point the way. <laughs> right. Looks like you knew how to handle the gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Yeah, or a Spectre peacekeeping force. <laughs> Me anyway. That's yeah. That's who I play. What is that? Yep. Okay, that's lightning. Put some pep in our step. Speed our feet. Is that Kirkland? Please, I surrender. Oh shit. I said I surrender. Oh, we take down that guy first. No! God damn it! That's it. Someone's uh someone's out of my watch. <laughs> that is the last thing that you want. Gunplay feels tight. I like that. I actually really like Mass Effect 1's gameplay. I thought it was uh awesome. And Mass Effect 2 is even better. I don't think so. No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. You know... Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. Oh shit, yeah. Alright, that looks evil as fuck. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You know, I, I like our Sarah. I like her so far. I mean, we're gonna stick to being like a, a fiery, snappy Sarah, but we may... Who knows, we may change. Throughout our adventures of Mass Effect Andromeda, I don't know how our Sarah's gonna be. I don't know how your Sarah, your Scott's gonna be, but our Sarah could make like a paradigm shift. What was that? Some sort of a cloaking technology. I don't know if I should touch it. It's awfully shiny. Let's shoot it. Okay, shooting it did nothing. Let's see what other guns we got, real quick. Check out that weapon wheel. That's weird. It's actually not pulling up the weapon wheel. Weird. Alright, we'll check out the weapon wheel later. And some of these guys didn't want to bring guns. Blows my mind. I'd rather have a gun and not need it than need one and not have one. That's my uh, mantra. Whoa! Shit! You hear that? I wish I didn't. It's a trap! Yeah, they got close. What the? Watch out. What is this thing? I... Okay, 
Okay. It's dead. Whatever it was. How'd it cloak like that? Oh man, it's like a nightmare cube bone. Whoa, wait, wait, that's got a backpack on. That's messed up. It's like cube bone if cube bone was in Masters of the Universe. Alright, what the hell are you? It's organic. No sign of technology. Wow, so the cloaking is biological? Yeah, weird. That's, yeah, that's actually weird. Very weird. Ugh, wait, we had an optional objective to locate gear. I'm hoping that's ahead and not behind us. I don't want to spend too much time on- hey, look, flare's going up over there. All right, that looks people. Halo. I'll mark the nav point. You know, in real life, we probably wouldn't even be able to reach those flares. It would be past an insurmountable mountain. Something that we just can't climb on foot. What do you suppose is down there? New and painful ways to die. Maybe we could jump jet our way across. Got Sally Sunshine over here as a companion. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, that's not good. Oh, 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 shit! That's really not good. Woohoo! <laughs> um, All right! Alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. I think it's machinery. You can feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. <laughs> I like her. Also, I like these jump jets. They're way more flexible than I thought. You can actually uh, use the jump jet to jump up while you're hovering. That's usually not possible in a game. Ooh, AR stock and AR receiver. Still can't pull up that weapons wheel for whatever reason. Yeah, that's just not working for me. And I, I don't want to stop exploring, so I'll, I'll check the controls later. This is this is really fun. Of course, I might be a little bit biased because I'm an enormous Mass Effect fan. And if you guys want to geek out in the chat room or in the video comments, please do. Please do, because I want this, like, our channel and our community here to, like, be a little hub go? for Mass Effect no fans. Talking, now that the game's coming out, I have an excuse. I've wanted it to be that for years. Oh, assault rifle, baby! Holy crap. Guys, it's the OG. It's the N7 Alliance assault rifle. Oh, it's fantastic. Great. These guys have green blood. I don't think anything has ever been good and had green blood in the sci-fi universes. It's always a bad sign. And this thing is like no recoil. Feels pretty futuristic. <laughs> yeah! I like this thing. This is a fun gun. So I'm assuming the guns are gonna be more like Mass Effect 3. Last Mass Effect 1 where you just get loads and loads of them. And you have to a lot of inventory management decide between stats. You can modify them, and that's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, you're pretty good at this, Ryder. I was with a team that dug up Prothean artifacts. Well, this will be a field day for you. I wonder what these guys were doing here. Crash is kind. It's not one of our ships. That ship looks insane. Looks like something from Krypton. Alright, so can I gush real quick about how we are playing as outsiders that are from a universe they've spent a lot of time in and so are we we're in a brand new oh cool you can holster weapons now it's working awesome wasn't working before it really wasn't i swear anyway they're in a new galaxy right um they're exploring all this for this first time just like we are but they can reference to each other all the stuff that we remember about our galaxy about the milky way that's just great it's like it's like poetry it rhymes we have a lot of different ways we can go, but let's check out that alien ship first. Just wanted to make sure that we don't miss anything. This thing looks pretty sweet, actually. I think it gives us superpowers or something. That'd be great. It's food, I think. Can't be local. Not growing anything on this planet. So maybe they're bringing it in from off-world? More of them in the cluster? Not loving that. I mean, we don't necessarily understand the geology of this planet at all, so who knows if it's grown here or not. They grow in the air. If the air is their soil. And they got glowy jellyfish mushrooms. Who knows how weird this planet is? Ryder, some sort of cave over there. Okay, that's Check pretty. That out. 
Now this looks more like the golden world my dad was expecting. Then the long range scans were right? This could have been home? 600 years ago. And then, who knows? Kinda looks Jurassic. How is this even possible? Extreme example. If it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way, there are signs of cellular mutation. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Yeah. Or what happened to all its friends outside? Dead animal in here, and some sort of trap. Pretty recent, too. You suppose those aliens set it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. You know, that kind of looks like one of those giant flying insecty things that we saw outside. Maybe it's related. Maybe it's a baby. That was slick. She was like Spider-Man there for a second. More flares. They must be in deep shit. Damn that lightning! Gets me every time. I bet you there's some sort of a special weapon here that we can only get here. It was only on this little shuttle that crashed. So if we don't get it now, we'll never have it. You hear that? No? Yeah, radio static. But like a pattern. That static's getting louder. Wait a second, we got something we can scan, apparently. Ah, it's not important. Kinda looks like it's just outdoor lighting. That'd be hilarious if it was. This is such overkill. What the hell is that noise? Okay, that sounded like a ship. I feel like I'm in aliens right now. Sort of structure up that hill. I'll tell you what, I'd rather be an alien than uh, Prometheus. The storms. Along with everything else on this planet. Kind of getting Prometheus vibes. Some of the technology looks almost organic. Slightly Geiger. Like minimum Geiger. But still, a little bit Geiger. Like hell, I'm gonna holster my weapon. This is an alien world. We're going inside of their technology. Well, let's hope no one's home. Doesn't look like a home at all. I heard something. It sounded organic. Yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. <laughs> Must be a way to get some lights on. Who knows how the hell they turn the lights on? What, well, they got a clap on? What do they do with their minds? Ooh, new ammunition. Cool. <laughs> Whoops. Keep forgetting, why is the, uh, why is the select? Now let's start scanning. That jump jet is really nice. There are all kinds of like knee-high obstacles in the original Mass Effect games that you couldn't walk past or climb over. Unless they were cover, of course. But now that you have a jump pack, they can't really stop you from doing any of that. And I think that's just dandy. I like that. More freedom. More exploration, more money. What's all this about? Oh shit, that's it. Oh god. Alright! Run! Right? Do I, do I do that? That can't be good. Oh. It's a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Yeah, turn the lights on. Crap! That's bad, right? <laughs> I love this guy. He's pessimistic, just like me. What is that? Hey, that 
door open. Yeah, hold on. Get everything I can here. Shield capacitors. Now, how exactly can I use some of these alien augmentations and some of this alien some technology, kind of research huh? Lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. We not exactly poetry, is it? Watch it! What is it? This? Yeah, it looks like a looks like a gecko from Metal Gear Solid 4. Great. Now killer robots too? <laughs> the Geth back home would love this place. Geth references. I love it. So they got uh, biological creatures under control. They have machines. These things have everything, don't they? Let me get through that door. I'm feeling it has something to do with this device. Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. What should we get, Sam? I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in, like an artifact. 300 to 400 years. Interesting. I'd like to know how old this facility is. 600 years ago, this planet looked viable. What happened in between? Let's see if we missed anything back here. Weather's still crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! I was right. That must have been an alarm back there. Whoa! Are these things stalking us? Yep. Starting to feel like it. You know, I'm just gonna attack from above. That seems much safer. I don't think they're listening. I don't know how to melee, but uh, I'm just gonna give it a shot. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> yes, I'm the blade is back, baby. Last one's down. Let's not wait around for more. You know, the, this kind of looks like that planet from the Mass Effect 2 DLC, the, uh... Uh, it was the Elder Beings DLC, I can't remember what it was called, but... It was pretty legit. I remember that they brought back the... Uh, Firewalker, or whatever that hover tank was. I think it was fun. I'm excited to use the Nomad. It'd be cool if they had a Mako skin for it. I'm gonna miss that thing. So glad they brought back vehicle exploration. I, chat room? Live chat, I had a question for you. How did you like the Mako? Personally, I was a huge fan of the Mako and exploration in Mass Effect 1. I know it had its limitations, but... Careful there. Still really fun. It's really cool, too. Gave you a sense of actually being in the universe. I'm gonna find a way across. I'm guessing I'm backtracking. Let me see if I can pull up a map. Oh, that's nice. It's very fancy. Three-dimensional. Yep, uh, I am going the wrong way. All right. Let's double back. I, I'm a terrible pathfinder. Horrible pathfinder. I haven't found my squad mates. I've barely found any munitions. I haven't found any new technology. And I haven't found a way off. Shit, I don't even know where these guys are coming from. Guess that not friendly was a little redundant. They're trying to pin us down. Doing a good job of it too. Try to light them up. I'm on it. Walked into a little war zone. I want to find my back abilities. Plenty of those. So the training that we went with was uh, biotic because I, got one. I feel like combat in this game is something that they've really been pushing forward in making advances of. So that is, that is really exciting that? for me, because I'm actually one of the few people, or many people, I don't know. Seems like a lot of people don't enjoy Mass Effect combat, but I'm one of those people that do. Except, uh, instead of being wave-based Mass Effect combat, which is kind of what it was before, in a way. It's gonna be much more dynamic, thanks to the open world. It's very exciting for me, loving this mobility. 
Well, that settles that. Calvary to the rescue. Nice to see you, God. Nice. You too, Harry. How is everyone? Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word, then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. They didn't play along. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about Dad going up alone. I don't know, just a sci-fi thing. Speaking of which, uh, he is the head Pathfinder, and I'm pretty sure Sarah or Scott, they're supposed to be the head Pathfinder, so... Yeah, we're gonna... I have a feeling we're gonna find him dead. Ah, hell! Enemy ship on the way! Get to cover! Go, go! Now, what do we got here? Just a pistol? That's it? All right, let's test Here it out. Charger, charger. Maybe it was another pistol. Let me see if I can uh, edit our weapons out a little bit. I know that we have... That's fun. I know that we have uh, some assault rifle modifiers, but I'm not sure if we can actually edit that yet. We just got our throw ability. They got fools to try and airdrop. Damn, that is a good looking drop ship. Oh, yes! Yes! So, a lot of my playthroughs through Mass Effect 1, I rolled with a kind of a boring setup. I just went with basic soldier because I wanted to use all the guns. Most of the time. Sometimes I went with, you know, Vanguard or maybe full biotic, something like that. Man, these guys know how to fight. Maybe one or two playthroughs as a technician. But this time around, since you can be flexible and you don't have to stick to one class, you can, like, switch up your classes, uh mid-game, you know? It's gonna be pretty dynamic. That's exciting. So, I decided that I'm gonna roll with some of the craziest abilities you can get. Are those dogs? I wish. They've got some weird cloaking ability. You're shitting me! <laughs> this is more like Predator than Aliens. <laughs> An alien world. What if I can use my body to throw on these enormous dog things? Yes! Yes, we can. Damn, they won't let up. Oh crap, we gotta take cover. Shit! Where the hell are you going? The fight's back here! I'm dead! <laughs> well, uh, didn't take cover successfully. Let's try that again. Our first death! It's, it's like, what? Oh, it's an hour into the game, almost. Alright. Still. The Pathetic. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. They didn't play along. Alright, that is not suitable cover. Let's not go there again. Alright, are we ready for this? No, not quite. Okay, here we go. So we can have up to four weapons eventually. Let's switch our Predator with the Charger. Beautiful. Now we finally actually have the Charger pistol equipped. Oh, that looks nice. Kind of looks like Kasumi's SMG. Is it? Yeah, it kind of is. Yo, that dropship did not come that close last time. Okay, that's that's more like it. Damn, I like this pistol. I'm a fan of fully automatic weapons in the Mass Effect series. Sniper rifles as well. Sniper rifles, SMGs, that's where it's at. Oh, crap, crap. Beautiful. <laughs> we just tossed their dog right back over to their side. So, chat room. Man, these guys know how to fight. I got a poll for you guys, all right? Um, what is your favorite Mass Effect game? You don't have to be biased, just because I'm biased. Mass Effect 1 is, I'd have to say that's my favorite. 
Uh, if I had to guess people's favorites, I would say Mass Effect 2 is kind of like the Empire Strikes Back of the series. But, uh, yeah. They've got some weird cloaking ability. You're shitting me! If the entire chat room would do me a big favor and take part in the census, I'd appreciate it. I gotta have a quick way to switch between weapons, but I can't find out what it is. Uh, it's not X. Oh, a D-pad, probably. No, it's not that. Obviously, we can't hold it down for that. That, uh, so we'll just have to go into our weapon wheel. I'll find out later. There's too many of them. Just keep firing. We can do this. It's like playing whack a mole. All right, after we kill this grunt, we're gonna move and make this a little bit more dynamic. Make the battle feel ours instead of being shaped by it. Well, you see that? Hey, we got, uh, we got a different type of soldier back there. I don't even know what he is. Oh, it's a heavy. It's a heavy. He's got shields and he's got some sort of a minigun. Also, this river is toxic. Hospitable plan of my ass. This place sucks. I mean, it looks cool. It's it's wallpaper worthy, but I wouldn't want to live here. Damn, I love that. Got some huge spread on this thing, though. Crap, he is heavy. Can't even knock him back with our bionics. Once he's got his shield down, his health seems to be just about the same as the normies. Liam, enough. Right. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. Stay pissed. Use it. Will do. <laughs> just remember, we need that ammo. Strangle them if I have to. What about the others? Fisher's wounded but sitting tight. No sign of Greer. And our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. She's been hit. Take cover! Take cover! Hang on. Ugh. I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... <clears throat> I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Sarah. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. I'll take that chance. It's not any better on the ground. We're just human lightning rods running around here. Not if we can turn the lightning off. I don't follow? I have an idea. Rendezvous at my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Kind of feel like Buzz Lightyear with this new armor tool we got going. The Pathfinder's position. Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. What about Grit? If he didn't turn up by now, nothing we can do. The Pathfinder's all that matters. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the nav point puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Well, we just made our first major mistake. We, uh, we failed to locate Greer, a man under our watch, and I have no idea the ramifications. Does that mean that we... Is the Sarah, poor Sarah, lost a romance option? Oh shit, I just... That's gonna be kinda awkward. I gotta romance some guys, probably. Oh no. Unless we got a Liara. Do we have a Liara? Right. We don't have much time. Look, the rot. They're drawing the lightning away. If we hug that wall, they might keep us safe. Lightning's getting a lot more dense. Lightning didn't do this. Incendiary rounds. My dad's been busy. He was an N7. They don't mess around. Damn right. Damn straight. Shepherd for life. Somebody was pretty clever with these rods. Only way to survive here. We're close. The nav point shows my dad's up there. Stay low. Who are these guys? Visitors. 
just like us. I don't think they're native to the planet. They're not. We found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. Wouldn't be much of a recon specialist if I didn't. <laughs> well, you're off to a good start. Baptism by fire. Sir, you said something about the lightning. It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop in the cloud. Together, they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. We're banking on science we don't really understand. What if the theory's wrong? The alternative is an 85% chance of death from lightning strike, capture, or worse. Well, when you put it that way. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. Beats getting fried by lightning, but we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. Problem is, we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. That looks like Halo 4. I love Dad's voice. It's it's outstanding is what it is. He's like, I love you, but I'm not going to act like I do because I'm a tough, grizzled dad. But I'm also like a veteran mercenary. You never know what I'm going to do. I'm a loose cannon, but I know better. I'm a seasoned warrior. But every once in a while, I'll acknowledge I'm still your dad because I'm a legendary badass and... That's just what I do, because once my death scene arrives, I'm gonna need you to tear up a little bit, have some manly tears, but then push on because, you know, you're my daughter and all that, and I guess I believe in you, but only when the plot dictates. I'll switch the assault rifle, that's gonna be a little more effective for this war that we got going on. Nice. I want some more biotic attacks. Yeah, we got throw, but what's next? I think it's stasis. I think the next thing we unlock is stasis. Whoa! Alright, we gotta start sweeping and clearing. Yeah, let's fall back until we heal up. No way I'm dying this early. Mass Effect 2 is overrated! What?! Do you want me to stop this stream right now? <laughs> Do you want me to stop the car?! We're not gonna get ice cream anymore. Uh-uh. No, not, not with shit like that. If you could sound like that, not in my house. Not in my house! No way, no how. Mass Effect 2 is, is a masterpiece, alright? It's a treasure, it's a national treasure, and I will be damned if I'm gonna let you stand around and talk about Mass Effect 2 that way. One is my favorite. It, it is my favorite. I saw a lot of you guys like Mass Effect as much as I... I mean, Mass Effect, Mass Effect as much as I do. The original, the OG, the first, but, uh, two? Two is right up there, man. I may have had more playthroughs than two, I can't remember. Sam, biotic amp interface mode. Have to keep an eye on our flank. Not if we keep moving. What the hell is a biotic amp interface mode? Speak forward. Don't let him catch us. Damn, this thing is super accurate as a DMR. I like it. Table. 
Oh He's shit. Gone. We're trying to come back for him. Have to keep pushing ahead. Oh god, they're gonna dissect him. That's some freaky shit, man. What if he's got a chest burster inside? We can't take his body aboard. We don't know if we can trust Sam, him. Give me engineer profile. Shit. I can't even jump back, man. Where are you getting these profiles? Little help from Sam. What does that mean? Just focus on the fight. You know how we know that Ryder's gonna die? Because this game would be a couple hours shorter if he didn't. We'll lose our chance if we don't beat it. Come on! He's just too good. He's too good. All right, I'll take point. Inorganic lubricant? What? Give it right back to him. We better save that item we picked up for the romance scenes. This looks like a control center. Keep off my back. You heard him. We made it. In one piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. What door? This door? Uh, I think I see any interface. I need to decipher the language. Damn it, Dad, I'm a recon specialist, not a language What's specialist. The they'll surround us in no time. We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us. Where'd you want us? Got it. On the move. Repositioning. Feels like the beginning of Mass Effect 2. I like it. We're gonna find right. Tally soon? Oh, Tally's gone. Think I see movement. Damn it. I, I was a Tally fan. I don't know what camp you guys were in. Probably camp we are. Probably we camp Miranda, the actually. We can do it again. You guys are all a bunch of basic bitches. I'm just kidding. Us. I love you. I'm just getting warmed up. Shit. I'll give you some support. Keep them off your dad. <laughs> that sounded really weird. I'm not going to cock block him. He's cool. Got some sort of a barricade. I don't know, but they sure want it back. Right up, the fight's back here. I'm being proactive. Just Give me a break. Get back here, we need you. Yo, I was taking care of the guys that we so we have to care 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 of them later. Shit, <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> my bad. All right, I'll stop digging around. We're gonna our asses pounded from all sides. Sir, this is what I wanted, though. Decryption Intense progress. Complete. We've almost got it. Ah, I'm gonna go take down that heavy. Let's be tactical about this, though. Let's attack from above. Let's have our throw ready. Let's do it all nice. What? Oh, he's downstairs. I thought he just jumped off the cliff. <laughs> that would have been funny. We're not that lucky, though. Decryption complete. That did it. It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Is that water? It's a weird material. It's like it's pulsating. Sir, I need your help over here. Go, it's okay. We'll keep a lookout. We no need way. To get this door open. On it. We're master chiefing the shit out of this. Put your back into it. <sighs> No, no, lift with your legs. Shut this thing down. I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Nothing on this planet has listened so far. Just be careful. Worried about your old man, huh? I won't tell anyone. God, I love that guy. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam, begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have.
damned. It's working. We did it. There's hope at least. This is more than hope. It's proof we weren't crazy. We can fly to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. Riders implant is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back, Sarah. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I know this must be a blow. I... I can't believe he's gone. One minute, everything was fine, and then... he... I know he could be distant, but he once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Sarah. Whoa. Well, if that's how it has to be. Don't sell yourself short. I think you can do it. Cora? It's what he wanted. I won't stand in the way. But being Pathfinder is a serious job. You sure you're ready for this? Mm. How do we portray ourselves to our new underlings? It's in my blood. That's a little 
It's a little German, circa World War II. Dad already decided that's a little whiny. I can learn. That's good. I like that. I'm sure there's a lot I don't know. But I'll figure it out. If it helps, you've got me to lean on. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. She needs to rest first. She has two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I, uh, I checked on your brother. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can he. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Oh, it's very special. Very special. <laughs> Why'd he pick me? Because Scott was asleep. <laughs> <clears throat> Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. I miss Edie. Oh, maybe this new Jarvis will grow on me. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. 
could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. I just wanted the title, not all the responsibility. He gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. Attention, this is we really happening. Just take, take a deep breath. Procedures. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment, but now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky in Habitat 7, but we survived that. Right? So, always keep a jump jet handy. Some of us survived that anyway. It looks like the Presidium up here. Ah, oh, how I miss that place. Captain wants to see All a full duty roster. Duty I just station. updated the charts. We gotta figure out how to modify our armor. Also, uh, uh this space station, okay, the Ark, kinda giving me the creeps. This is what we've been some waiting for. Dead space vibes. I guess we're gonna follow her. She knows where she's going. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Almost feels like we're in the Enterprise. Uh... I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? This doesn't look good. Hey, we got the terminals that the Citadel has. Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. Oh if my it's god, it's party, Savina! They're doing an awfully good job of Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Doesn't sound like a Vena. Uh, current year, that would be useful. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Actually, I was kind of afraid that maybe we slept for a little longer than 600 years, you know? Maybe, uh, we slept out the, uh, extinction of the rest of our crew members. But it has been around 600 years, just as we thought. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. Oh, shit. That's what I was afraid of. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. <laughs> I wish. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Oh, I hope that's Current not true. wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Oh, great. All right, uh... Hmm. Immigration. Let's... Let's just get a move on. Plants are still alive. Unless that's all automated. 
I don't know, do we have any keepers around here? Also... It's like they didn't finish building it. Yeah, what she said. But they started, you know? They, they started building it, so... I guess they woke up at least. Hello? There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Okay, why the hell didn't he hear us? Hi there. We're from Ark Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? Oh, dear God. Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an Ark had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first Ark we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we called them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Shit. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole well, thing went south. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. Uh oh This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. Hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal. 
But now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Female Krogan. That was, uh, that was one hell of a reveal how she just turned around and started talking. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Was that, uh... Was that the beginning of a romance option? <laughs> oh, this is a... This is a terrible situation. We're up Galactic Shit Creek. Hey, we got a new objective. Let's see what it is. Speak with Tan, Kesh, Kandros, and Addison. What about Garrus? Was he doing calibrations or something? He received an objective. Right, let's see what it is. The Hyperion is docked to the Nexus, the support hub for the Andromeda Initiative teams. Speak with Director Tan and Pathfinder Headquarters. Alright. Seems like it's, uh, priority, so... Maybe we'll do that first. Actually, shit, we gotta, we gotta speak to Addison anyway, so... It's good to be here. Excellent. Let's go over the dock and check this out. She doesn't want to talk with us. To keep it, do it. I'm getting kind of panicky about this whole... Like, Hello, leeching power you thing to the Ark. I feel like we're gonna need all the power that our ship has right now. And who knows how many people have got to eat on this thing. Finding food could be a serious problem. I am feeling Matthew McConaughey's pain. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Are we gonna be a bitch? I'm feeling a little spicy right now. All right, let's get him in line. Let's get all of them in line. Let's be tyrannical. Also, can I fire Addison? I don't like her disbelief in me. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Oh, shit! Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for Eos will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about the... <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, Casey, see me and Sam note on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. 
No. I'm fine. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. Alright, now we gotta speak with Jarvis, but where's a private place to do that? Uh guess upstairs? Yeah, it looks like that's where it wants us to go. Whoa, what was that? It's okay. Pathfinder on the job. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny. We had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Mutiny? Aren't we in some sort of a Star Trek utopia where shit like that doesn't happen? Looks like they don't have their shit in the row here. I, I I think that the Pathfinder may be the leader these people need. Not that Solarian, not Addison. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Ah, shit, let's do it. We'll, uh, pretend we're C-Sec. A-Sec? Yeah, I guess it'd be A-Sec. A-Sec Schrader, the Pathfinder. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Oh, good, it's easy. Good, I was afraid this would be like an hour-long side quest. Oh shit, that's her, sorry. Oh, uh, let's just walk back this way before she uh, interrupts our mission. I'm gonna go ahead and switch quests. Let's see, how do I pull up the quest again? Here? Maybe I can hold the start button, see what that does. No. No. Alright, we'll just go in from here. I think it's our journal, right? Inventory, codex, better beginning, we're a side quest. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm using the UI, so... <gasps> Do they have the voice? Oh, what? No one reads these things anymore! Shit, I love that guy who's like, The Asari are a race of the Milky Way galaxy. That guy was great. And now he's gone. I don't know how I feel about that. My faith is shaken! Do not pre-order this game. <laughs> don't buy it! I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm very much kidding. Is it the Codex? Now that was there. I'll, I'm just gonna sp scan the panels. Some of you guys, even though this is like just released, are probably like, Jeez, massive God! All you have to do is hold down the right stick, press the left trigger, and then press the right bumper. God! Right, where are the other panels I'm supposed to scan? Oh shit, there's one down there. Hmm, no relevant data. Well. I guess we'll talk to Sam. Wherever we have to do that, I think that's upstairs. I'm gonna finish this little quest, though. But I can't figure out how to pull up, uh... My, uh... Side quest. Should have been paying attention when that tooltip popped up earlier. Told me how to pull up my right, missions. I wasn't, though. Right, let's check on the map, actually, where our... Objective is... Oh, it's over here. Habitation deck. Cool. We got our own room. Oh yeah, our own room. Maybe we'll have goldfish or a space hamster. I want this space hamster back. If it's not in the game, we should write petition for it. All right, I'm officially lost. Was it? Uh, must, maybe there's a way to get to the habitation deck from upstairs. All right. Uh, now it's in the middle. I oh, I think it wants us to go forward and right. Hold on a tick. That's where it is, okay. Not sure if I'm a fan of the waypoint 
It's a little, uh, a little unclear of what level it's on. So when we got some good squad mates, what do we got here? We got... Got Turians? Squad mate options? Female Krogan? Squad mate options? I doubt it. They're too valuable. Rex would shit his pants if we had a female Krogan team member. They're a little old fashioned, especially with their females being in such a uh, high demand. I don't think that he would like that. It'd be very progressive, though, for a female Krogan to be a squad member. Atrium. Looks like we're getting a little closer. We're back on our ship, right? Looks like it. What is this place? Looks like Cerebro. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to some note. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. You're like some sort of a secret superhero. I like that. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. So Jarvis, did you, uh... Did you, uh, wipe his hard drives? Delete all his porn? Burn what's under the mattress? I, I don't want to go in Dad's quarters if I want to find some free shit. Check out the strap outs. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what he's into? This Alec guy, he, uh, seemed like he might be a little repressed. What do we got here? Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implant for superior battlefield performance. Select the profile and press A to activate it. I guess Adept is the only thing we have available. Ah. Uh, hey, Vanguard's here. Alright, let's look at what Adept is. Adepts are biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with powerful mass effect fields. This profile reconfigures Ryder's biotic implant, enabling her to deflate... Deflect. Enabling her to defeat her opponents without firing a single shot. For Adept Rank 2, 24 skill points invested in Biotics. That's pretty cool. We are looking to be a Biotic, so... Let's do it. Biotic Jump and Evades. Instead of a Jump Jet, use Biotics to Jump and Evade. Can we use that, like, in a tandem with a Jump Jet? Can we stack it? So many questions. So little answers. What else do we have? Skills? Alright, let's look in combat. We have three skill points, so let's choose wisely. On the Grenade, that's pretty cool. I love On the Grenades. Wow, look how detailed this is. Look at these powers. That's nice. Alright, uh, grenade capacity. We will get two grenades. Uh, for two more points. I don't know if we want that. We could get three skills right now, instead of sinking it all into one. Pistols, assault rifles, trip mine seems pretty useful. We should go into combat fitness, can we? No, we can't. 
All right, let's go with uh, let's go with something else. What about biotics? I do like throw, but let's unlock a new one. What about backlash? Generates a frontal biotic Aegis Barrier that reflects most projectiles and reduces the damage of other enemy attacks. Interrupts melee attacks as well. That's pretty cool. Devastates a small area with a swiftly thrown sh- Yes, we're Zeus. We are Zeus. Alright, we're gonna unlock one more thing. What do we go for? Allows a biotic to maximize damage against foes both directly and indirectly. Let's go with Shockwave. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, um, let's see what we do here. We got throw, we got lance, we got omni grenade. I'm gonna stick with that for now, and we'll just keep shockwave in our back pocket. All right, let's go look at Dad's room, I guess. Oh, we're not on our ship right now, I guess. Or we are. Find a way to remove Sam's memory plots. This feels illegal. Did Alec have full control? How far does Pathfinder? jurisdiction actually go are we basically like a specter are we greater than a specter so many questions we're not above that solarian apparently so it's not like we're uh, on the present no, we gotta get back in the tram what is this the new elevator hidden loading screen oh shit wait docking bay operations it's actually interactive Docking bay it is. I guess this is our main citadel hub world. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But, at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Female Turian. Oh yeah. Romance option? Nah, we're, we are we are uh, sworn to the romance of the of the, of the female Krogan, of course. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it! Hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it! Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. I like her. Finally, 
someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. I don't know how, the, how long these loading screens are, so I don't want to talk over a cutscene. Awkward silence. That's our only option. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. But runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Kind of like the Normandy, huh? <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Oh my god, if we fly this thing ourselves? Wow. It'd be great if they kept the secret like that under wraps. Alright, this isn't the bridge then. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Oh yeah, it's the conference room. Tell you the what. meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. I do kind of miss that teak or pine or walnut uh, conference table that Cerberus had. Cerberus had style, but it looks like this is its own little Normandy, you know? Stealth ship. It's got a similar looking core. It's fast. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Yeah, I know. You just said that. Strike team missions. What's this? Serious kill over here. This console reports on the malicious current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrus for authorization to participate. Authorization? The goddamn Pathfinder? Who do you think you're talking to? Edie, what's this area of the ship? Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Tell you what, I, I want to edit our armor right now. That's what I want to do. All right, you know, let's go to uh, let's go to the bridge and let's go to our quarters. I want to see our crib. I think it's not going to be luxurious Pause like Cerberus, Check but more like uh, Alliance, a little more withdrawn, subtle. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I don't know if I feel comfortable with a pilot that just has so much muscle function, strong bones. I like a pilot with brittle bones. Means he's probably spending all of his time behind the wheel, you know? Getting a good feel of the ship because he doesn't have any legs. I miss Joker. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder, running a ship. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. 
Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, what do we do here? I'm trying to be kind of open with my crew, but we don't want to be too open. We want to have the Pathfinder, the role of the Pathfinder, the job of it seem unobtainable. You know, we gotta be a god to these men and women aboard this ship. And xenophobic. Let's be, uh, let's be alien racist. Down, nah, just shouldn't you? Let's be headstrong and reckless, but not too reckless. Someone that's dependable when shit really goes down, but, uh, you don't exactly know what their modus operandi is. I never planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. That looks like a black hole. Also, what the hell was that speech? That wasn't a Shepard speech, it was like... I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but, uh, listen, I'm the Pathfinder, so... I, I gotta step up to the plate. Uh... Let's do our best out there, huh? We got this. <laughs> she should have been like, uh... Oh, shit, well, I'm freezing too, so, uh... <laughs> Hell if I know. But something a little inspirational, you know. We may be the galaxy's last hope, but, uh... Don't let that weight fall too heavy on your shoulders. This is still going to be one hell of an adventure, and you know what? Failure isn't an option. So no matter what the hell we find out there, be it friendly aliens or things that would rather eat us as a paste, let's give them hell. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not give up without a fight. I walk in the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil, something like that. You know, read up. Sun Tzu, that shit. Initiative Habitat 1, designated EOS. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Don't be so bossy, I'm checking shit out. We got Nanuk. We also got here. We got a uh, H27. <laughs> I guess I just gave up on naming things. What about this thing? Hansu and Pele. I want to go to Pele. What is Pele? Can I check that out? Shit. I'm Pathfinder. I can do what? Oh, are we flying there? Oh, I'm fucked up. Oh, I'm fucked up. I'm <laughs> wasting our space gas. I don't know where the hell we're going. Pele? What is that? Looks like Coruscant. Oh my god, can I scan? Scanner, guys. Analysis. Tidal heating and bombardment from Pythus asteroid belt has aggravated Pele's volcanic activity. Methane in its upper atmosphere contributes to the planet's scorching conditions. Looks like gold. Well, guess we can't really scan much on this thing, can we? Turns out those weren't cities. It's just the light of the volcanic eruptions. It's kind of nasty, isn't it? All right, let's get out of here. Anomaly on sensors. Wait, where? Anomaly on sensors? Hold on. Anomaly has been detected. Use LS while holding LT to scan for the anomaly's location, and then RT for a probe. All right, I think I got this. Wait. Oh, shit, I was right on top of it. Must be that lens flare. That's where JJ Abrams lives. Probe away. God, I love launching those probes. Oh, wrong button. 
Oh, oh shit, okay. So we're not actually in the map, look at this. We're actually going from Pele, because we were at Pele, and now we're going to the asteroid that we just detected. And all of this isn't done automatically through the map. That's neat. Confused me at first, because the rest of the Mass Effect game just lets you use your imagination. Oh my god, I'm controlling myself. Okay. An iron-nickel-rich asteroid, its dust indicates the same scourge contamination that affects EOs. 88 iron. I love how, like, plot-heavy that was, just getting 88 iron. Should've just pressed that. <laughs> no, I like it. It's nice. Let's get a better beginning, because, uh, yeah, our last one kind of sucked. Poor Alec. Instead of going full interstellar, let's, uh, let's go full Martian. Let's Martian the shit out of this. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. Looks like this place is a low viability rating, so I guess this isn't going to be our home. A desert world with significant resources, Eos is often racked by deadly radiation-contaminated storms, cataloged as a non-viable after numerous attempts to settle. <sighs> Let's go. Feels like a dumb idea, but <laughs> wouldn't have been my first one today. C can we change out? Can we change out our melee? Oh my God, we can. That's going to be incredible. Let's see some of the modifiers we picked up. I know we have a few for assault rifles. What do we got here? Mm. AC receiver, plus 40% assault rifle penetration damage. That's great. Accuracy, stability. Let's go for, uh... You know what? I don't even need penetration if I have accuracy and stability, so... Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's tune this thing. Let's it up. Beautiful. Alright, what about you, Mr. Predator? What you got? Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. I just replaced my assault rifle. All right, there we go. There we go. Pistol scope. That's all we had. All right. What about our armor? Oh, my God. Can we change it? Yes. We've got two initiative armor. And they're both the same. What about mods? No mods available. Great. What about the helmet? One of my favorite parts of Mass Effect 2 was the awesome armor that was inside of it. Mass Effect 3 has some pretty good armor. I usually rolled with the Collector armor or the Dragon Age armor in Mass Effect 2. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow? Alright. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board, spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I've got the training. People. The tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. You got this, right?
There. Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Sounds like a plan. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Would you really need a pathfinder to know that, though? By the way, uh, someone in the comments of the live stream chat room was saying that I'm playing on Xbox. I just want to clarify, this is the PC version that we're playing. Not only is it the PC version, but I'm running this at the highest possible settings, and at a resolution of 2K. Downsampled, of course, for you guys, because it's 1080p livestream. Nobody could watch a 2K livestream unless they got Fiverr or something. But, uh, this is a good-looking planet. I almost feel like we're gonna hear, uh, some Red Dead Redemption music walking into this canyon. Got a bit of stuttering, but you gotta keep in mind that this is... This is pre-day one patch. I'm playing the early access version, so we don't have whatever fixes are gonna be available come release five days from now. Good looking base though. Hey! Oh shit. It's the same thing we saw on the first planet. Looks like whatever aliens were there are here as well. That sucks. I feel like we're gonna go weapons out in a few minutes. Emergency power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. <laughs> we can't open it without codes. I like you, Sam. You remind me of Taurus from Interstellar. He had a bit of a dry sense of humor just like you do. You know what? Set Sam's sense of humor to 100%. I gotta use some good flaws. Is it just me or did I hear someone grunt? Examine the bed. Oh, I thought she was gonna examine the bed. Probably looks like a Jason Pollock painting. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. Botanist? What are you hiding, Eos? The plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth, despite an environment that can sandblast paint. I'm starting to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected a signal of some kind, definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate, vector has been noted. Seems useful. Oh wait, audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. That's dark. It's really dark. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna see if I can fix the, fix the stutter real quick. It might be a performance issue. I don't know if uh, NVIDIA's released drivers yet. I'm playing on a 1080, so uh, 1080 i7 6700K, like 16 gigabytes of real nice RAM, and it's all water cooled. So I don't think we should be getting any lag. But let me see if I can fix this. Hold on. Don't worry, I know it's black. I know what I'm doing on the goddamn Pathfinder. Just give me a second. Okay. Let's see if this is good. 
All settings have been applied. I don't think that there's a driver for NVIDIA. Maybe it's in beta. I'm not too sure. Alright, uh, live feed coming back online now. I like that we're using a flashlight in broad daylight. Yeah, really conserving power there, Ryder. <laughs> this kind of looks like Mars. Oh shit. You know what, uh, sci-fi series takes place on Mars? Doom. That looks like a tree from No Man's Sky. This is not No Man's Sky, though. Let's, uh, let's get that straight. Or maybe it is, who knows? Maybe there's an atlas at the center of the universe, and we just start all over again. Groundhog Day, the game. Right, we're gonna restore power to Site 1 and clear the atmospheric radiation. Hopefully our mask doesn't crack. I feel like that would be deadly. This time there's no Alec to save us. Freaking nice looking quarters. I got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. I have a feeling the Keck. Are they called the are they called the Keck? <laughs> Top Keck? That would be amazing if they are. Anyway, I have a feeling that they've been on this planet. They're probably just as curious as we are. I take it back. This place looks like crap. Of course, it's been through hell, so... Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Copy that. You know, you could have told us uh, that ahead of time, Jarvis. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh, thank God, it was a jump jet. <laughs> also, I didn't realize that the scope makes you zoom in every time you use it. I was thinking it might just be an accuracy modifier, but no, the scope is an actual scope. I feel like an idiot saying that out loud, but whatever. Alright, so, uh, where do we go now? Back to the... Oh, I thought we were going back to the Tempest. I was like, hey, I'm not leaving until we got shit done. If I go back up there right now as the Pathfinder with nothing, empty-handed, I like that would look Structure pretty bad. Ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. Get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. Damn, that is so Fire. cool. We can actually get on top of this thing. I love the jump packs! I guess that is the uh, radiation border keeping us alive. At least it's obvious, you know, I'm not going to accidentally irradiate myself and turn into a ghoul from Fallout. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Cue all the people in the chat room saying, She already looks like a ghoul. <laughs> but I'm... I, I like her. I think she's kind of hot. She's great. She's got- she's spunk, too. She's like total spunk. Well, we're making her total spunk. She could be questioning herself if we wanted her to, but I'm- I'm gonna try to make a fem chef thing going on here, you know? Make her a pistol. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't Ket, then. They don't knock. There are people here. We thought everyone left was gone. Of Course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Ket, huh? I can take care of that. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect Wouldn't it be crazy if they actually did have a tiger? Space tiger. That's what I want to see. Instead, we saw, like, a space warthog that's got cloak. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Shit. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hacking <laughs> implementation. Me and Ryder, we got this. Uh, we got this connection. 
Cerebro Magneto. All right, so what's the manual order that we gotta get here? Uh, shit. Damn it, man, I'm a rider, not a manual order. All right, how do we do this? How do we do this? Scan it, probably. Pathfinder, there must be a scannable interface on the power pylon. All right, let's go to the other one. Well, actually, if we go to the top, I think we'll have a chance. I feel so mobile. Come on, come on. Generator is active. Sweet! Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. I love this biotic feel. Look at this. Damn, that is cool. She's so powerful. Watch this, watch this. Oh, she puts her arm together like she's General Zod. <laughs> Hospitable world. I will find him! Anybody that gets that reference, you're golden in my book. Stick around. We'll have an after party together. Talk about Mad Steel quotes. What is it, the Keck? I hear something. I don't see anything. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold up. Oh, shit. Here they come! Keck, topside. Damn, this, uh, this scope, I don't know about it for close quarters combat. Feels nice, though. You know what? I'm not gonna waste the ammo on him. I need health, stat. Where's my Omnigel? Wait! Wait! Where's my Omnigel? Why the hell don't I have Omnigel? Yeah, you know, that seems like a pretty basic provision. Pretty ba- <laughs> Oh my god! Just stab him! Stab him! Oh, there we go. And you were gonna be Pathfinder. You! <laughs> I don't think so. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. <laughs> All right. Uh, is he gonna trust us now? Is he gonna let us in? Or is it if I can climb up that? <laughs> she was just standing right next to him. All right, you guys can't give me any shit. If if I fuck up in combat, you can't give me any shit because I am the most qualified Pathfinder around by a long shot. Well, yeah, with Alec dead, I'm the most qualified Pathfinder around. You took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. <laughs> That's so catty. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? <laughs> I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Really? I just saved your ass out there. Cobra RPG. Oh. An explosive projectile launched from an armored tool that deals massive damage. How much? Oh shit, we don't have nearly enough cash. So our credit's still called chits? Chets? I hope they're still called chits or chets. I like that. Alright, do we sell or do we buy? Let's see if I have any uh, armor. I could use some armor. He's got ammo, and that's about it. But I don't have I don't have shit to my name. Oh wait, he has guns. Raptor one sniper rifle. Looks like they got a mix of uh, Mass Effect three weapons and Mass Effect one. I like that because there's definitely some inventory management RPG stuff going on here. All right, what can we sell? What do we need? That's we don't need that. Let's sell that. Uh, inlaid circuitry. I'll keep that. <laughs> Inorganic lubricant. Value low? Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see if, if it's low value when a female Krogan is up in our room. Oh, yeah. Riders go in there. And above. Above and beyond. And in. And through. And... What is the anatomy of a female Krogan, anyway? I, I, just, I don't want to know. Just forget about that. That is really cheap. Well, fluorite. Uh, mineral use for blah, blah, blah. Let's sell it. Let's sell all of it. How much we got? Uh, sell all the savage that we got here. 
All right, and let's confirm the trade. So this gives us 2.9 thousand credits. And we can now buy the sniper rifle. Oh, it's a good day to die for the cat. What else we got? We got the Matic. Oh, shit. Is that the Matic I'm thinking of? Come on, show me, show me the rifle. Show me the money. Show me the money! Show me the money! Should I just buy it? Shit, I think we already have No, we don't already have it. I'm gonna buy it, whatever. I'm rolling credits, we got 3,000. Almost 3,100. We're good, we're good. Let's, let's confirm the trade, let's lock it in. And... Rare consumable. I don't know if we should buy that. Let's just stick with what we got. Let's get out of here. In fact, let's apply that stuff right now. Uh, can I do that? No, I can't do that. Um, there has to be some weapons supply box around here somewhere. Where is that? Ah, shit, we'll do it later. Power controls on standby mode. Power restored. That. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. You better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Liam feels like a bit of a yes man. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. I like that, you keep it up, Liam. I don't know about you. I need I need hype men on my team. Alright, I'm a new pathfinder, I'm trying to make my way, I'm spitting high five, I'm taking down Kex left and right. I'm a goddamn pimp. I'm a space pimp. But you know what? If I don't have hype men, who's gonna who's gonna tell that for, for, for my to my enemies? Who's gonna tell that to my allies? I can't! It makes you look weak! You praise yourself. No, no, no. I need Liam's on my team. It's, you know, I need some alien Liam's on my team. Get some diversity quota in there, baby. It's it's space. It's the future. We need diversity. Come on. I need a female Krogan, a uh, female Turian, and keep Liam because you know he's got my back. He's got my back. I need a four-man squad. What if they thought about switching into a four-man squad at some point? I like how the whole chat room is like, so is Ryder cute or not? What do you guys think? I, I don't think she's cute. I think she's ugly. Well, I think she's cute. She's a, she's a fucking pathfinder. All right, what, what do you want? What do you want? You want to strut up and down a runway? Like, boom. Or do you want her to, you know, make noise with a gun? I would rather never make noise with a gun, to be perfectly honest. She seems capable enough, although I guess that's me. Yeah, that is me. I'm doing the gameplay. What am I saying? Of course it's me. She's very capable. Beyond capable. Maybe the most capable I've seen. Out of all Mass Effect players. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. Like the cat? Better red than dead. I mean, <laughs> better dead than red. Saying that in the 60s in the wrong order? That gets you killed. Element Zero, I remember that. What about unobtainium? The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. I like the fact that it's open world. This is the first true open world Mass Effect game for those of you guys that haven't been following Mass Effect. I... Alright, no shit, I played the first Mass Effect around like 10 times. I'm not joking with you. That's what I did. If you're a Mass Effect fan, Respect. If you're not, don't judge. Don't, don't judge! Alright, who knows how many hours you put into My Little Pony Masturbation Simulator. I, I don't know! I'm not gonna judge you! You don't judge me. I also beat two around ten times. Um... I have a little secret. I 
still haven't beaten Mass Effect 3. I didn't want it to end. I know basically everything about Mass Effect 3 because I... Well, I was a frequenter on the forums. I've read the wiki. I've read the Reddit subreddit. So unfortunately, I know about everything that happens without actually having finished it. But I was just Mass Effect is something that's so dear to me. Not to get corny or sappy, but you know this is my goddamn live stream. I'm gonna get as corny and sappy as I, as I please. Prepare for some high fructose corn syrup in your diet. Um, I didn't want it to end. I didn't want to not to not have the feeling of well, I still have a Mass Effect that I haven't finished. I can always play Mass Effect 3, I haven't... God, that sounds pathetic. I've, I have uh, Mass Effect 3. If nothing else, I have that. They divided the rations again. Tonight's menu, soup with a couple of crackers each. Hope we're not too hungry... Wait, is that cannibalism? Hope we're not too hungry to prop up the South Billy tomorrow. But there's nothing else for it. Can't forage because the weather's deadly. Can't grow crops in those winds and the Nexus can't feed us and themselves. No, don't think about it. There's talk going around of getting back to the Nexus, but if we can't find an answer, who can? Oh, we dared to put our boot prints here. We were first. Me and Theo promised to stick it out, and even if we end up being the last. That is a supply situation. Unfortunately, we're in that same situation, so I can't laugh. I can't find it entertaining. They didn't know what they were in for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. I just want to check out that sniper rifle, man. That's what I want. Wait a second, there's something around here. Oh my god. Listen up. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Oh my god. It's the Mako. It's, it's the goddamn Mako 2.0. In that unassuming little crate. This early in the game, we we got a Mako guy. We got a nomad. Automated protocols activated. Mm. Deploying forward station. Oh, hello there. Looks like Superman's about to pop out. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Oh, hell yeah. Let's change this loadout. Alright, so we uh, we bought a new assault rifle. Swap out the Avenger uh, for the Matic. Is that what I remember it to be? Yes, it is. Beautiful. That's what I thought. Alright, let's uh, get a sniper rifle in place of that pistol. Raptor 1, that's a brand new sniper rifle. Put a spare thermal clip in that, and let's... Oh, shit. Okay, let's take out the scope. No, wait, no. We don't want the scope. Crap. Uh, yeah, let's swap the scope with AR receiver. Beautiful. And it looks like these are not machine gun specific. So we can use the AR on the Avenger. We can use the AR stock on the Maddox. I like that. All right, looks like uh, we are ready to roll out. Wait, we got something in consumables. What is this? Oh, what we have equipped. Shield capacitors... Let's keep... Let's switch incendiary ammo, actually, to disruptor ammo. Maybe cryo ammo. Let's do cryo ammo. Let's go old school. Forward station protocol. Habitat 1, named EOS, does not match initiative pre-flight profiles. Advanced pre-directives are not uh, applicable, and parameters require 94% rework. That sounds like a lot of work. I'll order somebody else to do it. Alright, unlock the Nomad container. I'm guessing it's already unlocked. He said he was sending over... I don't know what the hell Jarvis is doing. He's working on another level. He's an AI. I'm out of my element. Just hoping he doesn't go all Skynet on us. Or Cortana. Just starts going haywire. I don't have a replacement for him either. We would be screwed. Oh, man. Uh, oh. 
Oh my god, it's got butterfly noise. Mm. The Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Actually, I think that's gullwing doors. Nomad's life support system can protect you from hazards longer than your combat armor, but not for an unlimited time. That's interesting. Nomad will begin to take damage once life support is depleted. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's got some giddy up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Now, let's see if it's really all terrain. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, it is. All right, what about jump jets? Check. Oh shit, radiation, I forgot about that. All right, let's get back in. So she's like Mass Effect 1, you can get in and out of the Nomad as you please. That's cool, I like that. What's the mining computer? Oh shit, we got mining drones. I'm not gonna launch it here, I don't wanna waste it. In case we have limited drones like in the Mass Effect 2 game. I'm gonna be careful about that. Okay, yeah, I don't like the look of that. Life support is the bottom left hand corner. This is my first time playing. EA. <gasps> Oh, it transforms! A little bit. A little bit. Kind of like a Batmobile. Batman Future. God, that would suck if that was the name of a Futures to Batman comment. Batman Future. Justice League Future works. Batman Future doesn't. Want to go faster like this? Just travel faster, similar to Nomad from the nearest. Blah, blah, blah. It didn't even stop at sentence. Yeah, this is my first time playing it. So I'm, I'm still getting used to it. This is pretty damn cool, though. This is, uh, this is sweet. God, it's good to be back in the Mako. No, man. Whatever. And we got a boost. Nice. I wish we had a double jump, though. That would be nice. It's probably something we unlock later. Can we go up this? I have no idea what constitutes a barrier of a map. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. I think we can. Yes, we can. Holy shit. Alright. Big, scary alien structure. Let's head in. Hopefully there's no keck here. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course there's keck. Levels within acceptable limits. It's convenient. So is there like a lock on this thing? Because as soon as we walk near it, gullwing doors boop, open. What if the Keck hijack it? Also, I liked how the Keck were studying Alex's movements. That means that they know just about as much as we do. You know? I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Okay. Mm, that runs deep. Yeah. I don't even know what to make of that. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Nothing important, I guess. Damn. Alright, so what to do about this? Switch for a glyph to scan, clear atmospheric radiation. Look, yeah, let's let's clear the radiation first. That seems paramount. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7. I could interface fully with the console. All right. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Maybe we can climb this thing. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Didn't expect that camera snap around. It's slippery, but there's a great view. Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? I think that's enough. That's like one letter. Unless they're Japanese and that's like, uh, you know, the length of, uh, the Bible. That's not what I was trying to think of. I was trying to think of, uh, Milton's 
what was it Milton's Paradise? No, it was, uh, oh my god, I can't remember that book. I'm gonna stop now, because that reference is just completely derailed. <laughs> it's awful, get it out of here. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Cat? Nah, probably not. Alright, I guess that's what we needed. Let's see if we can get back downstairs. <laughs> Stairs, yeah right. Kinda looks like a Forerunner installation. I wonder if the Reapers are this far out. Obviously we know they're present in the Milky Way, but... Oh, what about 600 light years away? I feel like the Reapers are powerful enough, maybe even, uh... Expansive enough where they would be almost anywhere we could reach, anywhere we could travel. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this. Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Off, or I will push you down. Whoa, easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Uh-huh. All right, that was that was like when uh, two lovers meet in anime. <laughs> just smash it on, flop it on it. What, what is that? What What is that? Actually, it's kind of mirroring uh, what, uh, uh, you know, they, they tackled Shepard on, what was that? Eden Prime, when he's interfacing with the Reaper Tech, and now Ryder's interfacing with Reaper Tech confirmed? Maybe. Jesus, she has some sharp bottom teeth. You see that? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later, just take them out. Keep targeting that one. They make little bots. Wait, what? They make little bots? Oh, crap. So what are these things? Just spawn off of each other? I don't see any little bots happening. Yo, know, these are totally Metal Gear Solid 4. What were those things in Metal Gear Solid 4 called? Geckos? I don't think it was geckos, it was it was close. Something like that. Not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PD. Ryder, you've been studying this remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange.
Oh, I thought they were bots. <laughs> Here I am just waving my gun around like an idiot. All right, clear atmospheric radiation, activate remnant monoliths. Let's go for the monoliths. We've well, we got two more to go. All right, where do we start? Our scanners will tell us what we gotta do. Guess we just head to the top of this one now, right? Alright, let's try. Oh, wait, of course, we got waypoints. Totally forgot about those. I like that the HUD is minimalistic. I, mean, I am playing it at 2K resolution, so it's gonna be smaller than I usually would, but uh, something I didn't like about uh, Mass Effect's HUDs were just how large they were. They were very. 2010 era console. Well, 2009 era console, I would say. It was a little ahead of the curve on the first one, but got pretty blocky pretty fast. I like that it's understated now. Dynamic. It disappears when we don't need it. Alright, what am I missing? Maybe something closer here? Oh, you know what? We probably have to get off of this hill, don't we? It's open world. Yeah. Yep, of course. Of course. We got some more monoliths. Let's do it. There's something I really like about the open worldness of this. It, I don't like open world games that have a lot of crafting. And this game does have crafting, so I might change my mind where it has concern. But I feel like. The more open a Mass Effect game is, the more natural it feels. I don't really like linearness in my Mass Imagine Effect games. All the craziness on Except where it's necessary, like uh, suicide missions so and much such. On you. And then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. <laughs> like, I would exit the Nomad here. Okay. It's the stupidest thing I've done the entire game. Radiation out here would kill us. Ted got here before us. Wait, what, Ket? Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. <laughs> really? I thought they'd get out of the way. Oh, well, maybe these cat aren't such a big deal after all. I mean, wow, remnant took over. Let's check it out. Cat ahead, Pathfinder. I recommend caution. Yeah. All right. We're in uh, hazard level three. We're not supposed to be here. Let's double back around. There's got to be some sort of a ramp or easy access to this place. Back in level one. All right. This is uh, this is progress. Oh, looks like the ramp's right there. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. So this is her research site, huh? She feels like she's got a bit of a Liara thing going on. <laughs> yes. Yo, we must be a pretty strong biotic to throw that thing that distance. That was big. It's gotta be a lot heavier than these guys. Oh shit, that's just our luck. And to be honest though, I prefer anointed. What does that mean? To me, it looks like a heavy. He's got the shield. He's got a... I that was a Gatling cannon. Maybe he just has more responsibilities. Doesn't even have that great of a pay increase. You know? Something that they dread. Oh shit, I heard Bob got anointed the other day. Twice the workload. Just a fraction of the credits more. It's not even worth it, to be honest. Superhero. Right, let's toss a grenade. Let's see if it's better this time around. 
Oh, not bad. Can we shoot from... Oh, beautiful. I love being able to shoot... Conf cut. Look at that, look at that. That is so accurate. I feel like that might be a little OP. Why would I pop out of cover? Unless they're, like, extremely long range. Doesn't even make sense. Of course, who knows, maybe that's gonna be changed in the day one patch, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Alright, one thing I can tell about the Anointed, they're actually a lot bigger than the Heavies. They're, uh, they're pretty bulky guys. Let's throw them out of cover. Make him think on his feet. Alright, yeah, you know what? That grenade's not great. I send reinforcements. Do they know we're here? Of course they know we're here. They're aliens. It's their They've job. The well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Oh, that's gonna come in handy. Nice. I find and disable the generator powering the shields to access the monolith. Looks like the generator is... Can I just shoot it from here? Nah, we gotta climb up that. Alright, jump jets aren't gonna bring us across there. We gotta find another way in. Probably from the other side. Oh, wait a second. Oh, shields are still active. Yeah. There's probably a few different power cells around. Take a little look, see. A little walk about. I gotta say, I'm liking the kit's design. Kind of reminds me of Destiny. Actually, really reminds me of Destiny. In certain areas and elements, but... Looks good. At least it looks unique, you know? I was really afraid they'd go for like a bay former type of a deal. They didn't. Very thankful for that. Alright, how do we access that? Find and disable the generator power. Oh, you know what? The scans have got to tell us something. So, how do we get across? <laughs> I'm guessing the objective is... something to do with the, uh, the generator powering the shield. But, I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to disable it from... Wait a second, this thing's still on. I got some beeping nearby telling me to activate my... Oh, okay, so that powers that little portal over there. So, uh... Of course. Cat core encryption tech. A networking device of uncertain purpose, but clearly reinforcing a cat model of biomodularity. It is of immediate value, and the potential for research inside is profound. Can I interact with it? Shit, I thought that was going to be my answer. Oh, you can jump. Wait. Oh, of course. Of course. It's not linear. I don't even need my jump jets. We can just climb on top of the roof. It's a whole new world. Better get used to it. I'm glad, though, we don't have stupid little things holding us back anymore, like uh, uh, this right here. That would be a high enough barrier to stop you back in what? 2005? Definitely. 2009, even all the way into 2014. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Sarah Ryder. 
I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. <laughs> Nexus knows shit about the Cat. They think they're safe. <sighs> But they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Can I trade Liam for that guy? I liked him. Of course, I was a fan of Rex. I don't think I don't think I ever shot Rex on Vermeer. She seems like a dumb plan. I, I uh I mostly saved this Ashley. This fun. Never killed Rex. Uh, I got everybody. Uh, oh no, I lost two people on my first suicide mission. How many guys did you lose in your first suicide mission? Second run was perfect. Of course, I didn't look at any guys because that's no fun. I wanted to see if I uh, could actually pass the muster. I guess in real life I would have lost two men. You know, first time's a charm. But uh, I feel pretty good about that second suicide run. You know, it's not too bad. Second run, perfection. Okay, let's find these glyphs. All right, glyphs. I wonder if I get anything on the scanner. Glyphs, 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 glyphs. Alright, um, let's just repeat what we did before. That was pretty sick. Wait a second. Hell yeah, they just passed right by us. Beautiful. Anyway, let's use these octagon stairs. Get on top of one of these things. It's so mobile. This is very unmatched effect feeling, actually, how mobile you are. Good change, though. I think it's for the best. That's one glyph. Let's see another glyph over there. Or up there. Well, we got one more to go. Let me see if it's somewhere on this thing. No, looks clear. Oh, there it is. Alright, so how do we get there? Can't make it through with our booster. Oh, it's got octagons. Never mind. Question is, how do we raise this thing up? Now nah, we don't need to tie enough. Beautiful, it's all coming together. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Still don't know how to solve this mini game. Interface successful, Pathfinder. Beautiful, no mini game required. Whatever that did, I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Thanks for the positive reinforcement, PB. As long as I remember to jump, we'll be okay. Oh shit, we should probably search this place, shouldn't we? Yeah, oh my god, that was a new weapon. New assault rifle. Looks like a pistol, though. Let's see what's in here. Maybe we can find some more weapons. I like the weapons are more abundant than they were in Mass Effect 2. Well. Guess this place is clear. I don't see any more containers. This component was security tagged for Site 2.
Only the title of this message can be clearly translated. The rest is written in cut script. Lesser species, unremarkable, disposable. Oh my gosh, that's us. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Dragon Age Inquisition so far. I'm happy about that. I am not gonna say Dragon Age Inquisition is my favorite Dragon Age. That's Origins, obviously. Two is all right, but uh, Inquisition wasn't bad. I definitely knew that I didn't want Inquisition in my Andromeda. Keep your chocolate on my peanut butter, but it doesn't really feel Inquisition. -y. I'm definitely happy about that, even though I didn't hate Inquisition. Open world feels Heads pretty up. good. Looks like a cat construct. So far. So far. I'm very early into the game. I barely even scratched the surface, so uh we'll see how I feel about that in a few hours, but right now I like it. Feels like it's there to aid the gameplay instead of have the length of the story. I haven't even started scanning with a nomad yet. Or crafting for that matter. Third monolith. Here we go. I remember this zone was hot before. These ones don't seem hostile. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they, they, they totally are. Okay, grenade worked a lot better that time. Beautiful. Maybe it's more effective against machines than it is cat. Biotics definitely seem more effective against cat than machines. Yo, did he just teleport? Beautiful. You start being a little more mobile. What if I can melee these guys? You have to check the high level of remnant encryption in Archive Deck. To continue, you want to decrypt it. Alright, I'm gonna move in for a melee. We got enough health. Thanks, we'll test it out. Damn, I was hoping we'd let on top of him. One more time. Beautiful! Melee is effective. Very effective, but also risky. Less risky against someone like this. Really hoping that lag is going to be fixed by tomorrow. Before our next adventure through Mass Effect Andromeda, I'm going to double check, make sure there's not anything I can download from NVIDIA to fix this thing. But I'm running at 1080, so there's no way that I could, uh, maybe if I was running that new other NVIDIA card, not the TI, the name escapes me, but basically there's no way I could make performance better on my end. So I'm going to blame the software. Maybe we could get Garrus to run some calibrations. Some of the pictures are missing. Wonder if they're around here. What if I get anything on the scanner? Oh shit. Alright, before we can use the interfaces, we have to kill the rest of the opponents. We've got one more. I don't know where this little bugger is. Must be hiding. There he is. Cute. Remnant deactivated. Alright, here we go. Now we're in motion. Had a minor stroke there with the controls. Alright, scan complete. We just got one more to go. And I know exactly where it is. Do we have one more to go? Yeah, we do. We do. Get all my monoliths mixed up. Oh, 
need to use the interface that controls this. You know, it'd be awesome if there was some sort of a side mission. Eventually, not, you know, not in the beginning of the game, but maybe when you're about 20 hours in. Well, it turns out one of the guys on, uh, on the Ark is actually Cerberus. You know, the elusive man planted somebody. Somebody that's looking out for the human species and not these damn aliens. Dirty, filthy, foreign creatures. Okay. And then he tries to let's have a little coup, you know? Kill all the aliens on the on the Ark, make it a human-only enterprise, and you get to choose whether to help him secretly and, you know, support his rebellion anonymously, or take it down from the inside. I miss Cerberus. Their antics were entertaining. Shit. Shit! Well, uh, let's not die here because last time it didn't turn out well for us. It was, uh, it was messy. We had to redo the whole thing. I and mean, we're doing pretty well right now, so let's just keep that up. Holy shit, guys, sniper rifle. Sniper rifle! I haven't even used that thing yet. Wish there was a way to quick swap weapons. I'm sure there is, I just don't know what it is. Holy shit. This thing's rapid fire. To be honest, I was hoping for a bolt action sniper. This is okay, too. Oh, I'll try that again. This time, better. Alright, override decryption. Use one remnant decryption key to override this console. Let's, uh. Let's see if we can figure this out. Alright, so I'm guessing we need to put this here. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? I have no clue. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't think this is how we're supposed to... I'm just gonna override it. See what it does. Hey, I'm getting better. Can't drop it. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to... Something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't Jesus. do anything without me. That's a lot of cat. And we're about to die. Run, Rider! Oh my! <laughs> Their death. Oh my god. That was funny. I mean, the death less so, but the animation physics were hilarious. Can't drop you. Oh, beautiful, Seriously? beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can't Good save point. Oh, this time we have to drop on them. So when there are numbers like this, they're no joke. When they're one on one. Easy enough to take care of, but this is a bit of a problem. Is it just me, or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech? I was just thinking the same thing. Killed them as fast as they killed us. Not bad. Our right, next destination is. Of course, in the middle. We gotta investigate the entrance. Unfortunately, my bladder is about to burst. My uh, throat is on the verge of killing me, but I think I think I'll probably survive if I get some hot tea in my system. However, my mind is blown. I uh, I actually I have a headache from how choppy the FPS is. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> FPS is fine in moderation. I, I gotta, I gotta let this process. I'm gonna resume our live stream of Mass Effect and drop it tomorrow around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you guys are able to join me for that. But thank you for joining me for this. And um, hey, uh, I'm gonna do the usual YouTube thing. I'm gonna hold this next live stream hostage. So uh, if you guys could, you know, hit that like button, like spike, uh, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, tell your close family members to subscribe. I wanna get an MLM thing going here, multi-level marketing. On YouTube, that's how I run my channel. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Uh, no, but seriously, thank you. I had fun. I am a really big fan of Mass Effect, so being able to play this with you guys watching me, I don't know, it's great. It's great. Got a nice little thing going on here. But if you do me a favor, and when you guys play the trial, if you have PC, if you have an Xbox One, leave a comment or tweet at me. I love talking to you guys. Tweet at me if you have a Twitter. Let me know what kind of decisions you're going with. Are you playing as Scott? Are you playing as Sarah? What specialization are you going with? What training 
are you uh, using for the now? I know you can change that stuff on I the fly, like but I'm curious. So uh, yeah, tweet at me. Let's get a dialogue going. Fields, rivers. Regardless, that's that's our adventure today. I'm gonna be resuming our adventures tomorrow, and in the meantime, I'm gonna do some shoutouts to thank you guys for joining me for this. And if you're new to the fam, if you subscribed recently or something like that, let me know so I can give you a special little welcome. But the rest of you guys, I just need one thing, all right? Just type, type the letters S-H-O-U-T spacebar O-U-T, and I'll give you a shout out. And for those of you guys from, from Kentucky, I said uh, uh, just type shout out in, in, in the you know, uh, live chat room. <laughs> All right, two minutes is uh, starting now. Let's do this thing. Oh, shit, I guess we have a new people, don't we? We have a lot of new people watching. Well, this is a ritual that we perform, a blood sacrifice. You can't see the baby that I'm about to um, split open because it's off camera. I don't have the face cam on. You guys don't want to see that. But just ignore the screams in the background, and you guys ask for a shout-out. That's how this works. It's my way of thanking you and appeasing the almighty darkness. Shout out to Haptic, shout out to Naomi A, shout out to Stephen Brown, shout out to Soul Red Hawk, shout out to Be The Cool Man 8, my boy, shout out to Tyler Johns, shout out to The Prophet, shout out to Genuine Snowman 14, shout out to Jesse Cortez, shout out to Gatsby, John Bob, Grease Monkey, Sebastian Capulet, shout out to Jay Thin, Javin Hacko, shout out to Matthew Chatter, shout out to Toby O, shout out to Cameron Crowell, shout out to Hyperion, shout out to Tyler. Shout out to D. Wonder what what? No, it's really not D. Be it's like Dogman. Shout out to Dogman. Shout out to Miguel. Nice. Shout out to Tyler we'll John. Shout out to Carlos Beltran. And the line. Shout out to Genuine. Shout out to Matthew. Shout out to Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Wonderful. Shout out to X Spartacus. Dark Mickey 2929. GE Player. Welcome back, my friend. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to X Spartacus. Shout out to Godwin. Shout out to Migel. Welcome, Steve Chase of the family. Shout out to Harrison Kang. Shout out to the great Nate. Shout out to Slayer Fox. What about Gray Fox? You got a Gray Fox in here? Shout out to Abdul Gopher. Shout out to Stickman Stussy. Shout out to Tyler Rye. Shout out to Felipe Chavez. Zombie Trey 60s of Wolfer. Lil Lando. Shout out to. Love you too, George K. Appreciate those words of kindness. Lil, uh. A little coming come out strong though, George K. You don't have to come on that strong. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be insecure about my love for my children. Shout out to Bliss Buddy. Shout out to Harrison. Shout out to Whitney Corbridge. Shout out to Jackson. Shout out to Kruznick. Shout out to Mr. Henry Dolphin. FN Val. Spartan King. 985. That was a mouthful. That's what she said. <laughs> that was out of line. I'm sorry about that. Shout out to Sebastian. Shout out to. Danny Pearson, and that is the two-minute timer. Looks like that's the end of our adventure, but I'll be resuming it tomorrow around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys are able to join me for that, but until then, are you even talking good hunting about? among the stars. The Enjoy your journey to the Mass hotel. Effect, guys. I'm looking forward to hearing about it. Take care. This is the placeholder outro. Eventually, you'll see video stuff here, but not right now, because I don't have it saved. I thought the I thought this game was coming out tomorrow, not today. They said uh, they said it was the 16th. It's the 15th. They they lied. I was not prepared. <laughs>